If it's forgiveness that you seek, seek you your Lord. Same old, same old complaints and whines, history repeating itself over and again. With this, are you not bored? If you're scared, go to your lodge, big gym, or church. If your ego is fragile, don't say you're for the cause. Just admit you're just banking off image or merch. You dance or you sing and you say it's for the peoples of the land. Yet you don't do anything for less than a certain dollar amount and make sure it's in the public eye you get stroked with a greased hand. It's a crude, unrefined, callow, primary, elementary, colonial way of thinking being pushed on people by their own. The literal, lateral hate within the system is disappointing, unintelligent, which nobody should condone. The wobbles attacking the indigenous about them being the original people of the Americas is getting crazy, as they bring documents written by white colonials being disrespectful is shady. Believing in the word of colonizers is believing a goof. Calling the Native American mongoloid and Asian is a spoof. Then we have the Owens and Wests of every race, acting like they want what's best for their people, pushing the colonial case. It's all ineffective to the true issues at hand. It's all a disrespectful distraction in order to keep us unaware of the raping of our land. The pillaging of our human rights in this country they have planned. And the more we neglect to see the bigger picture, the more we all are damned. Whose people were here first, going off documents of white men for proof. Believing in the word of colonizers is believing a goof. So if you're looking for redemption because you know you did wrong, putting people down because your ego is as fragile as a bong, know this world we live in don't care about forgiveness or how shallow materialistic ways. It doesn't care how many people or minority it slays. People are fighting for reparations for slavery and those in oppression, yet we bicker amongst each other about issues nonsensical. We belittle and put each other down for clout, image, ego, or status. It causes depression. They want us to bicker amongst each other, fighting it out toe-to-toe, -to -toe, tooth to tooth, even if it means to erase an entire group of people in presenting of a false truth. Indigenous erasure is a thing. False information is the wind under the supremacist wing. It's disrespectful how people go about cultural appropriation on cultural should be protected and upheld with appreciation. Cancel culture weak, wearing big britches, not realizing canceling culture makes us weak. The one percenters are pushing division through false truths, hardcore, and they won't stop till there's another civil war. There's issues this government is pushing that will affect everyone from a race war to World War III. And when that time comes, the only way we will survive is through unity. You see, at this point, it doesn't matter who was there first or your image or who is more this or that. We're all here together and we need to come together to survive. And that's a fact. A community is only as strong as its faith, its loyalty and its base integrity belief mixed with honesty, truth and respect for one another and some comic relief. This is how we move forward together because bad medicine, the one percenters are in conviction of conjure. It's their mission to bring confusion, to divide and conquer. Be humble, be safe, share your wisdom and knowledge. And it's okay for our minds to get in a bog. Stay woke, stay vigilant, stay healthy, and continue to bring forth that positive catalog. Sing and dance because you love it. It brings clarity to the mind. Mental health is important, and to your waitress, be kind. Be good to one another, for you never know when the one standing next to you will be called home. Treat everyone as you would want to be treated. And remember, when you're done with it, throw away that damn nitcomb.